Hey, hi, City Church family, Pastor Solo here coming to you this um, Monday afternoon. It's been a while since we talked in person, and many of you might know that um, my family and I had taken a couple weeks off, and we were spending some time down in Florida for our, our, our vacation. But uh, we ended up cutting our trip short. So much has happened since we left. And even the last few days prior to deciding to come home early, it was hard to focus and not pay attention to the um, uh, impact that coronavirus is having on our nation. Really, it's a global problem. And so we thought it'd be good to come home, prepare, and, and also wanted to be with you. First, let me start real quickly by letting you know that we are, have decided to, to cancel all activities that go on in the church in the week, uh, any church activity, including uh, small groups or ministry teams or practice that takes place in the church. We will be doing this on a week-to-week -week basis um, as we see what comes ahead. We are working in improving and uh, our online abilities, our video abilities, so that in the event also that we are unable to get to a corporate gathering, we can also provide uh, services through the online experience. Thank God for the time that we're living in, that technology is available to be able to be utilized uh, properly. So bear with us for all of you who watched the service online on Sunday and got to stay home. I know it was not very strong and one of our, the challenges that we have is that the internet problem at the church and our location is limited but we are working tirelessly um, over the coming days and weeks to improve this experience if it becomes something viable that we end up using for a while so i ask for your patience with that but we'll continue to communicate and to the best of our ability provide what we can given the resources that we have available i also wanted to let you know that we will continue to give you updates when it, uh, this issue affects our church and it affects um, our community. We want to play our role uh, in working with other churches and our, our political leadership, uh, our government leadership in, in our city and state, and uh, in, in playing our role in helping contain uh, the, the infections. It's a, very high, it's a highly infectious disease and um, very, very difficult to contain because it's so easily transmitted. And so we, we want to uh, act responsibly as a church and also as individuals, we all need to play our role. I know in times like this is very interesting because you see the two types of extreme positions being taken often by people. Uh, you will see some people who look at this situation as if it is not a big deal. Uh, where they think everyone is overreacting and they're not taking it seriously enough. And then you have on another uh, spectrum, a, a group of people who take it to another level and they delve into the realm of fear, taking stress to another level and panic. And, and these are also reactions that are overreactions because no matter what happens, and no matter how difficult things get, as believers, we are not to react in fear or act in fear. The Bible says that the Lord God has not given us a spirit of fear, but it has given us power, love, and, and a sound mind. If anything, I think we need to take a step back and think, how can God use me and you in a time where people are hopeless, those who do not know the Lord, are acting in fear and they are looking for something that they can stand upon. So it is a time, regardless of how disruptive things get, my encouragement is it is a time to rise as a church. It is a time to, to, to seek the Lord. It is a time to not lose your faith, not to lose your hope, but to even be more faithful. I believed in the Lord's promise when he said that I am the Lord, and on this rock I'm building my church, and even the gates of hell will not be able to penetrate against it. That makes me excited to be a part of the church that Jesus is building. 
So we are part of something, not an invention of man, not something that we came up and thought that that would be a great idea. It's something that the Lord himself says he's building. And because we are part of what God's doing, then we, 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 we can be excited, we can lift our head up, we can, we can be creative if we have to make adjustments. Uh, churches all over the world, churches in, in oppressed countries, Make it happen with adjustment because what, what God is doing within the church is spiritual and is powerful. And we can, we can be a part of a, of a revival that even gets triggered through this hardship that we are experiencing as a nation. So I want to encourage you to, to be looking, to be more vigilant and to be on the offensive as it relates to the spiritual impact. And not succumb to the spirit of fear because that is not what God has given us. The Bible says that he has not given us a spirit of fear. He's given us power love and a sound mind and so that's that's the way we gotta look at it we look at coronavirus for what it is take it seriously for what it is it's a highly infectious disease and um, it can spread pretty rapidly from person to person and how how we handle uh, it as a nation and as a community will have the potential of handling of, of affecting many many lives now regardless of whether People that you know or people that you love are touched by the disease personally or physically. One thing is for sure is that the tremendous economic impact will touch on all of us. And so these are times to rise up in prayer. You see, the Bible also says, and this is one of my favorite scriptures. If you've come to our prayer meetings, you know, oftentimes we would quote that verse and we do it at City Church because we are called to pray. The Bible says that, that, uh, that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, the Lord God says that he will hear from heaven, he will forgive our sins, and that he will heal our land. And I think in times like this is the time that we need to intensify our prayer life. As God's people, we have a responsibility. We have the spiritual responsibility of standing in the gap and praying. Don't act like Latin unbelievers who don't have any hope. Let's pray. Let's seek the Lord's face. Let's see God change. There are people that are working tirelessly. Medical professionals, we, they need to be covered by prayer. Government officials who are making serious decisions that are not easy for anybody to make. We don't always appreciate them because maybe they come with politics sometimes, but they are working on behalf of people and their decisions affect all of us. So we need to be praying for them as well as the scripture um, is, is asked us to do. So I want to encourage you with that. As we go on, we will continue to communicate. People of God, we love you. Um, we are praying for you. We are thinking about you. I'm going to add one more thing. Let's stand together stronger. Let's think of others. Communicate to us. Email. We'll be checking emails uh, frequently. We'll be listening to messages and use, utilizing our social media platforms to communicate as well. So if you have any questions, you contact us that way. If you have a need, don't suffer alone. Bring your need out. To the best of our ability, we can come together and help people uh, as, a, as a family. We are a family and we stand together in times like this. And as we share different needs, if you have the ability to help and meet those needs, we'll call on you as well. Because this is a time to come together like never before. Come together in prayer. Come together to assist those in need. So be thinking in those times. And we will be continue to share messages together. And, and, and see what the Lord will do uh, during this season. I'm believing for revival. Even as the enemy has maybe intending to bring fear and disruption. Through a spirit of sickness and intimidation. Um, we, we believe that in the midst of all that. God can turn around what the enemy had intended for evil and he can turn it around for the good of those who love him. We love you guys and we look forward to talking to you soon. God bless you and your family.